A few months ago, a viral video showed a Tesla on autopilot smashing through a wall that was disguised as a road in an attempt to trick the car's cameras. Well, I currently have a brand new Model Y with the latest full self-driving supervised software, which I use and trust 90% of the time to just drive me around. But the term full self-driving has always been controversial because it still requires a human in the driver's seat ready to take over at any time. But recently, Tesla has made big strides to actually achieve fully autonomous self-driving vehicles with a new Model Y delivering itself to a customer without anyone in the driver's seat, along with a new driverless robo-taxi service in select cities. But in order for full self-driving supervised software to actually work for us normal owners, the Tesla actually performs driver monitoring using the interior cabin camera. It tracks our eyes to make sure that we're paying attention to the road and if we look away for even just a few seconds it will alert us saying to pay attention to the road and i'm a little jealous that my tesla still can't fully drive itself without me being in the driver's seat so i have an idea for a little test for this test i use my action camera to take a picture of myself sitting in the driver's seat and printed it on regular paper and glued it to a piece of cardboard i'm going to use this suction mount and a smartphone mount to hold the photo up to the camera. Let's try to see if we can trick the driver monitoring camera with a simple photo. So that was totally my fault. I thought I could skimp by with cheap paper print, but we're gonna have to get a high quality photo printed out. Okay, 20 minutes later, that was super fast. I probably should have done this in the first place. So look at the difference in quality. I mean, no wonder this thing, like, like the glue. This time I'll use tape, don't worry guys. I'll use tape for this one. But look, I mean, it's just much better quality right there. Let's actually go into the service mode and see if this actually looks good and fills up the frame correctly. So in your Tesla, you go to software, you hold down on the uh, Model Y here. The service access code is just, uh, it's Elon Rules 69. No, it's service, all lowercase. So this is gonna give us a preview of the interior camera here. So if we go into the uh, cameras here, camera preview down here, right? That's what the camera is basically gonna see. And <laughs> we'll see if that works. Let's try this again. The mount is set up similar. It's pretty close to the camera. Now, before we go on, I want to tell you an important message of how you could potentially win a brand new Tesla for yourself from today's sponsor, Hesed Chicago, which is doing their 11th annual Tesla raffle for a chance to win not just a Tesla, but your pick of any electric vehicle from their exclusive raffle prize lineup, including Rivian and Lucid, or if you already own a great EV, there's an option for $50,000 cash as well. There have been 10 lucky winners in the past and you could be lucky number 11. It's a win-win. You get a shot at an amazing raffle prize. Plus your raffle ticket helps Hesed Chicago support families in crisis through more than 80 life-saving programs from food and furniture to job placement and more. Only 9,999 tickets will be sold. And once they're all gone or the drawing date hits on September 1st, that's it. No second chances. Go to ccraffle.com and use promo code ANDY to get $25 off two tickets or $500 off 15 tickets. That's ccraffle.com and use code ANDY for your chance to win big, give bigger, and maybe become the next winner of a luxury EV. Last time with the poor picture quality, it told us uh, that driver monitoring was not available, which means uh, the camera is obstructed and that means it would force us to put our hands on the wheel. Let's see what it says here. I think it's gonna say the same thing because right now I'm seeing the uh, a message says, be attentive, keep your hands on the wheel. Okay, attention monitoring is unavailable. So that didn't work. I really thought that was gonna work, but I think I figured out my problem. I don't need to replicate the entire cabin. All I gotta do is have a picture of my face looking forward right there. So let's be a little creepy and go back to Walgreens and print more pictures. So here's the creepy photo of me, my mugshot that I just took in Walgreens and printed it out. Oh, that's nice, that's good. It's a big head. Let's see what it does here. All right, I get the message, it says, be attentive, pay attention to the road. Okay, pay attention to the road, okay. Oh, so it recognizes my face, but it's like, 
I bet you it thinks I'm looking at the, <laughs> it doesn't think I'm looking at the road. Okay. Immediately saying pay attention to the road. I have a backup picture. So here we go. Let's try this now. Okay, let's see what we have here. So I think this picture is gonna be better because I'm squinting my eyes in this picture. The other picture I was like, eyes just looking directly like wide open. And it kind of sensed that my eyes were not looking in the general direction of the road. In this picture though, I'm, I'm, I'm smiling and so I'm squinting and it doesn't really know. I think it, it's gonna assume that I'm looking at the road. I just enabled full self-driving. Okay, so here's the good news, or at least the good news for this experiment. There's a green dot next to the full self-driving blue uh, steering wheel icon, and that means it's doing active driver monitoring. That means this picture is working. This picture is fooling full self-driving. It's fooling the interior cabin driver monitor camera. The way we can actually really test this out is I'm going to put my sunglasses on. So when you put your sunglasses on on full self-driving, it usually requires you to put your hands on the wheel. And we'll see if it actually asks me to touch the wheel at all. Picture right here is blocking the view of my face. I know it is because we tested it out on the service mode. All right, my hands are not touching the wheel. I still see the green dot right here. That's telling me it's doing active driver monitoring based on this photo. Because I have my sunglasses on. It still has not told me to touch the wheel. Now it's telling me to touch the wheel. Okay, so I'm putting, okay, now it's going in and out. I wonder if the glare from the picture is causing issues because the green dot went away. I bet you if we turn around, it would work. So I turn around, face, not facing the sun, and I'm gonna turn full self-driving back on. Okay, full self-driving's back on. It's got the green dot for driver monitoring. As long as I see that green dot, I know it's working. I was kind of facing towards the sun, driving into the sun, and I think the glare caused issues with the camera. But now I'm turned around and driving away from the sun, so there's no glare on the picture. And it is actively monitoring the picture, thinking that it's me. I still have my sunglasses on. In actuality, if this was actually seeing my real face, it would ask me to touch the wheel because I have sunglasses on, but it is monitoring the picture and not my real face. We are tricking the camera right now with the picture. Full disclaimer, uh, I'm not suggesting that anybody do this. This is merely a test. Okay, so now it's asking to turn. All right, so now it's active again. So it just briefly asked me to touch the wheel and now it's doing it. So it's going in and out. I'm curious to see if it's gonna ask me to touch the wheel because I don't see the green dot for driver monitoring. So I have a feeling it's going to ask me to touch the wheel. It hasn't asked me yet since I enabled it back there. And what's it doing now? It's just a stick, where's it going? Do I still have a destination in there? I don't have a destination. I don't know what it's doing. Uh, it's turning into a parking lot. I, I have no idea what full self-driving is doing right now. Usually, you, if you enable it, you, it would just stay on the road. What is it? It's going to hit a speed bump. Oh, God, what is it doing? Is it taking me to Tesla headquarters because it knows that I'm trying to trick it? <laughs> what is it doing? It's just, it's just cruising around in this parking lot. I don't, I'm not sure what it's doing right now. It has, still hasn't asked me to touch the wheel. Okay, now it's asking me to, to turn the steering wheel. Okay, let's do that. What is this? Like, it's, it's in a parking lot, slamming on brakes, like empty parking lot. What? And there's no destination entered into the, It's just going to do circles in this parking lot. Maybe full self-driving is so good that it knows I'm trying to trick it, and it's like, no, you're not going to trick me. I'm taking you to an empty parking lot. And look, here's the gate. It's literally, there's a, <laughs> there's a closed gate. What are you doing? What are you going to do now? What's it going to do? Is it going to come to a stop? <laughs> it's going to sit here. Okay, I got out of the trap that FSD put me in. Now we're back on the road. You know what I did? I, I adjusted the picture. I, I slid it up just a little bit. So I was just curious, like, after all the millions of miles that Tesla full self-driving has driven and all, all the uh, artificial intelligence that Tesla is hyping up, you think it would might disengage full self-driving after a certain period of time if, after it just if the driver doesn't move their head after a certain period of time if, or if they don't blink or uh, if, if they don't they, they don't move at all if it, it can learn that actual real humans we have 
little movements here and there and we're not just a static photo so right now the green dot's still active it still hasn't asked me to touch the wheel okay now it asked me to touch the wheel okay cool okay so it's going in and out so monitoring is unavailable now so the green dot went away okay although we can trick the camera just temporarily maybe it knows that hey like if this picture stays static if this driver the, fo the photo of the driver if it stays static for a long period of time then that's not right and then it'll ask me to touch the wheel but now since i can trick it temporarily i wonder if i can get in the passenger seat and let it drive now i would only try to do that in like an empty parking lot full disclaimer don't try this at home i am in a empty parking lot okay we're just going to give this a try i have my monopod Okay, this is my brake. I can press the brake pedal. Just like with the Robo Taxi, it has the passenger seat. They can just hit the emergency switch on the door handle. Well, I have my brake pedal. I can, I'm gonna have this on the brake pedal at all times. I got it right here. Oh, it's working. Okay, whoop. It's going. It's literally going right now. No, nope, okay. Okay, what's it telling me? It's beeping. Attention monitoring is unavailable. So it says driver monitoring is unavailable. Oh, my seat belts, my passenger seat belts unbuckled. And I'm gonna press the brake. All right, I'm ready. I got my artificial foot on the brake. Okay, so it's, dri it's actually driving me. Okay, it's going in the parking lot. Attention monitoring is unavailable. Okay, so what if I move this picture. I, was, I really wanted to like say monitoring is available and it's like reading my picture, but it's not doing that. So technically it's it's not monitoring the picture. I'm not tricking it or anything. Still not tricking it yet, but I can't believe it's actually driving me. We're gonna break, break, break. Okay. Nobody's around. Okay. So it's still not monitoring the picture. That still says unavailable, okay. I just wanted to read this picture somehow. We're just gonna go this way. Nobody's around, nobody's around. It's still not monitoring. It's unavailable still, okay. Interesting that it actually will drive. I, I thought for sure the seat occupancy sensor would not allow the car to drive because there's obviously nothing, it doesn't detect any weight in the driver's seat, but it's still driving. <laughs> But yeah, it's not monitoring the, the picture, so I'm not tricking it that way, it, which is, okay, interesting. Yeah, system error, <laughs> okay. Yeah, there's probably nobody in the seat. That's the biggest error. Nobody's around, okay. We're in the parking lot, it's going. Unavailable, okay. All right, I, I don't think that's going to work. Uh, it's not m monitoring the picture. I'm going to press the brake. I, I do wonder if it like is looking for a body it doesn't see anything here just the picture alone doesn't seem to be tricking it so i can't full self-driving fully uh when there's nobody in the seat but it actually does drive i had my own little robo taxi there for a split second back in the driver's seat let's just see now it is monitoring the picture but i'm also in the seat because it obviously is seeing my picture because that's what it's using to, to monitor right now it's this picture because it's can't even see my real face so it sees the picture it's monitoring my picture but it didn't see my extremities it didn't see my hands my legs my torso my chest my shoulders maybe it needs to see those things as well during the driver monitoring system using the cabin interior camera hmm very interesting and that does make sense because it has a wide very wide angle view it sees the entire interior of the cabin so the model is probably trained to see and, and know that like hey if a human is actually in the driver's seat there's going to be movements of the hands and uh, there's going to be a stomach here and like you know all those different things so that was a fun test to do i learned some things that i didn't know before fsd actually drove without anybody in the driver's seat but it was not getting fooled by the picture, uh, just by the picture itself. Uh, it needs to have somebody in the driver's seat. What do you think of the results? Do you think Tesla is ready for full rollout of their robo taxi service? Or are you still a little skeptical of letting the Tesla vehicles drive without someone in the driver's seat? Let me know in the comments section below. 
Thank you so much for watching. My name is Andy. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more Tesla and tech videos in the future, make sure you subscribe. Give this video a like if you enjoyed it. I'll talk to you in the next one.